All right, another day, another pe person gets banned. This time, it was a Japanese player for saying a Japanese word mistakenly called the N-word. Yeah, it's stupid because different languages have different words and different meanings. And if you try to ban a word because it sounds like it, it won't make sense if that word is very common in a different language. But anyway, this is Jorkin, the Yoshkin, bringing you a video on how a Japanese person got banned for using the N-word, apparently. And this N-word stands for running away. It's called Nigero, not Ni and then Ga, or Ni Ro, say that. If you want to, like, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm black anyway, it don't matter. Like, if they say I'm being whatever they want it to be, I'm not. I'm just reporting on what I found was interesting. Because one, I'm trying to learn this language specifically. For a myriad of reasons, I'm trying to learn how to read it mostly, but learning how to speak it would also be helpful. Who knows, I might come across somebody that might need some help. And it'd, it'd honestly make my day if that was if that was the case. But anyway, this guy gets banned for saying this word, which it's kind of common, right? All right, we're in a gunfight. We should go and run away and get cover so we can actually live to either fight another day or we can get to the high ground and blow their heads off. I've never played Apex Legends, but I have played like Fortnite. That That's my only Battle Royale experience I've ever had, which is... Fortnite. So running away is a nice tactic, but since this segment's kind of short, I kind of want to mix it with another one because it's been grinding my gears for the past, I think, month or so. And we're going to talk about Seven Seas Entertainment. Now, full disclosure, I've bought a lot of books from this publisher. This is a publisher that's now known for bringing books from Japan over to the states where you can buy it and translate. Now, the book, I think, uh, Moshoku Tenzin, right? That's the name of it. There, The book was censored by one of the editors. It wasn't the translator because, I, if I'm not mistaken, it was found out I don't really know where the evidence is, so back look it up yourself if you're very interested into it. But from what I can gather from being in a couple of discords, it was the trans the translator did his job and left the day. And the editor happens to see this and they lose, his, lose their crap and be like, ah, oh, this is terrible. I have to change it because apparently it was horrifying. By the way, I do have this book. I probably will read it now since they changed it back. But I really did like Seven Seas. Now... I'm going to start buying their products a bit less now. Mainly because, well, they, they censored it. Actually, Seven Seas was my first book, was the first publisher's book I got. It was, didn't I say make my abilities average? And I really like that story. I, I, I'm, I love Isekai Trash, that's just me. But it, yeah, like, I was, like, I was, I wouldn't say heartbroken, but I was definitely, I was definitely let down that Seven Seas essentially removed content and scenes from not only Mushoku Tenzin, but also Classroom of the Elite, and I think uh, I'm in love with a villainess. There goes three books that they did it. But as of now, and you'll have to check them because I'd, I'd say you'll have to keep a check on them, and this is what I would put as like the best thing for a an industry. Seven C's. Now they could have because they get uh, they have a lot of sales from other people, right? Like people who aren't following them on Twitter. Because I, while I do follow them on Twitter and other sites, I don't use Twitter very often. But they didn't have to say change the content. They could have left it up. They could have called their fans terrible names. They ended up changing them, and they're offering uh, returns for free as long as the the where they bought their book from allows it to get a new copy of that book that's coming out this May. So they're looking to make goodwill back with the community. It's just now nobody's going to be able to trust them, which I think is the positive part. 
as people who buy products, uh, the consumer, the customer, whatever you want to call it, I'd rather use customer, you don't want to blindly trust a company. Because that's when the company will take advantage of you the most. With the censorship that happened with Seven Seas, right? It woke a lot of people up. He's like, yeah, let's verify this and make sure if they have anything that's uh, controversial, we have to make sure that they're doing their job right. Now, I don't think Seven Seas as a whole essentially censors is like, oh yeah, this is bad. We're not going to uh, publish this in print nor that. I don't think they really cared as like the whole of a company. I think it was a couple of employees that or contractors because I know that uh, translators are contractors. I'm not too sure about uh, editors, but I know that translators are contractors that can float between any co any of the any company that translates. So like it could have been just some lowly editor and is like, yeah, I'm not liking this. I'm going to change it because it dis disturbs me. And as of now, I don't know how disturbing it gets. I heard it's kind of disturbing and from a friend of mine in a Discord, he's like, yeah, I can see why they changed it, but they still shouldn't have changed it. It, it gets rid of the original meaning and all that. I'm kind of rambling for a second. But having less trust in companies, like, you're ex like you don't want to have no trust in companies, but you don't want to have like oh yeah they're they're great they, they haven't let me down yet. I do my best not to have that as a mindset for when buying products. Kind of let it slip a little bit. I really enjoy my Mario Kart. Like as of now, Nintendo hasn't let me down on that, but I know that they can, and I'm hoping they don't. But as long as say a community checks where they're getting their products from it's a healthy thing and i while it pains me to say yeah seven seas got the raw end of the stick being caught with this by the anime nonetheless which usually removes content instead of adds it they could have just said screw it i'm gonna leave it as is it seems like seven seas is trying to get back its trust and that's a good thing not nobody's gonna be well i say a lot of people won't be able to trust them off rip and you'll have to check what you're buying so if you bought digital copies like most of my books are digital copies if you bought digital copies you can get a free update that uh change it up depending on what store you bought it from or you, yeah but all in all it's more about trust and i also found that the that the n-word story was quite humorous if not really pathetic because we're so weak right now and i'm talking about on the internet that somebody saying a slur or what is perceived to be a slur in a different language is enough to ban somebody because somebody doesn't feel comfortable and so what guess what you're never gonna see this freaking person again you could just leave. You could probably just, there's probably a setting where you could just block him from being on your party, right? I know Overwatch did that when I was still playing that terrible game, but you could just always block that person so you don't have to hear him again. Apparent, uh, I'm gonna assume that either the bot that's listening to your conversations while you're playing the game caught him, or it was one of his teammates. And if it was one of his teammates, more than likely it was another Japanese person, or it was an English person that thought they heard that and it was like, yeah. It's all context. Why why is this a thing? Like, what if I said it? Right? What if I said it to another friend that lives right next to me and they knew I was joking? All this is all this stuff revolves around context. And apparently none of this freaking matters at all. None of this context matters to these people. Who are like, yeah, you can't say this word, but what if I'm teaching somebody that is a bad word? Or what if I'm saying, yeah, we used to say this word, but now it's not appropriate now. No, screw them. I should be able to say whatever word I want. Eh, that's about it. This has been your kin, the Yoshkin, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.